This question is about smoking and, it, and its effect on humans. Now, before we get into understanding this graph, which was located on the test, we're going to talk about smoking. So, you know, a long time ago, people used to smoke, but didn't get any idea what it what was its fact in the future. But in the long run, with research and studies, they found out a very important facts about smoking and how it affects us. Now, here are some examples. Your, your smoke can affect your heart. Just think for a second, when you're smoking, it has chemicals that actually reduce your blood vessels. And when you reduce your blood vessels, you know, you're not going to get a normal blood flow. So that means less oxygen is moving around your body. So there's more chances of affecting your heart. Imagine your heart not getting oxygen. Second, it affects your lungs. You can see here that the healthy lung is right here. And when you look at the side, this is what it looks like, the lungs of a, a smoker. He's just completely black with so much toxins left. Women who actually have smokes while pregnant, they actually have birth defects. A lot of kids can come up with problems. Another thing that smoking does is cause yellow teeth. So it's just like this guy right here. Go ahead, try to kiss this one. Hmm. No, not pretty sight, right? Also, smoking has shown relationship to bone problems, eye sight problems, even reduce the production of sperms in men. And the list just keeps going on and on and on. So we already know that smoke has many issues that it can bring to people. So then when we look here in the graph, whenever you get a graph, don't panic. The first thing you do is try to read what's the X and the Y. First, let's understand what the X axis. It says age. So the X axis has to do with the age. We have from the age of 30 all the way to the age of 80. So, so basically, this is all about the age. Now, let's look at the Y. What does the Y say? Probability of survival from 30 years of age. So it's the percentage. They're basically trying to say here on the Y axis is, what are the chances of you surviving? What are the probability? What is the percentage of where you're going to survive? And it goes from 0% you're surviving to 100% chances of surviving. So once we have the X and the Y, we should understand what these are about. We're talking about the age and the chances of survival, we can start looking inside the graph. And there's two lines. There's one that it shows the dot line, which means the person never smoked. And there is a straight line here, which means the person actually smoked. Now, you can pick a point of the line. So I usually pick in the end. So if I pick here, that means at the age of 80, this person, chances of surviving is about 70%. And an acquired smoker, when they hit the 80, their chances of surviving is 40%. So you can see that from a non-smoker, which is 70, to go to somebody that is smoker, there's like a huge drop of percentage of survival. There's like 30% drop. So what does it say? It's saying that if you smoke, the chances of you surviving is way less than if you never smoked. So what exactly does smoking do? Basically, one thing it reduces your life expectancy. The more you smoke, the less chance of you surviving a longer life. And that is the answer. Smoking reduces your life expectancy. And you can see it from graph. Imagine, 70 to 40, that's 30% lower chances. Not a good side, right? 